Hello. I would like to teach you about something biological. That sounds very nice, because I would like to know that thing. I'm going to teach you about alternative splicing of mRNA. That sounds very nice. You are nice. Okay then. Here goes. The typical eukaryotic nuclear intron has consensus sequences defining important regions each intron has guanine. What the fungi? Uracil at its 5' prime end near the 3' prime end. There is a branch site the nucleotide at the branch point is always an adenine. Wait. The consensus around this. Please. Sequence varies. I don't. Somewhat in humans the. Understand. Branch consensus is why UANY the branch site is followed. Please stop. By a series of pyrimidine splicing of mRNA is performed by an RNA and protein complex known as the spliciosum. I say. Is there something wrong with you? I do not understand what you are saying. I recognize some of the words and I think most of them are probably English, but when you put them together, they get all mushy in my ears. Well then that must mean that you are most likely stupid. Shall we continue? Where was I? Oh yes and protein complex known as the spliciosome containing SNRNPs. I do not like you. Designated U1, U2, U4, U5, and U6. I do not like you. U1 binds to 5' prime guanine uracil and U2 binds to branch site, A, with the assistance. I do not like you. Of the U2F protein factors the complex at this stage is known as the spliciosome adenine complex. I do not like you. Formation of the adenine complex is usually the key step in determining the ends of the intron to be spliced out. I. I say. Did you say something? I do not like you. Well that's because you have poor taste. Continuing on, the remaining complex then performs two transesterification reactions and the first transesterification 5' prime end of the intron is cleaved from the upstream exon and joined to the branch site adenine by a 2' prime 5' prime phosphodiester linkage in the second transesterification the 3' prime end of the intron is cleaved from the downstream exon and the two exons are joined by a phosphodiester bond the intron is then released in lariat form and degraded. And there you have it. That was quite nice, wasn't it? I do not like you. Well then, toss off.